I always wanted to do an interview with Betty Davis, and she wanted to do an interview with me. And we both turned out to be in Paris at the same time. And I asked if she would be interested. She was there, I think, to, to get the, the, the César Award, um, uh, something like that. It was the biggest award that France gives to an artist. And I was there to do the 10th anniversary of Roman Polanski uh, having left the United States under the cloud that he did. And, um, and Roman was willing to talk to me about it because Roman desperately wanted to come back to the United States. And uh, so while I was there, Betty Davis said to me, I have only one favor to ask. Do not ask me about my daughter and her book. I do not wish to talk about it. I said, fine. I said, um, okay. And one of the first questions I ask her is something about how did she feel about how the press has treated her her entire career? And she, <laughs> she says, well, not so much the press, <clears throat> but my daughter, my daughter should write such a story about me. And I'm saying to myself, oh my God, she just told me not to talk about the book, the daughter, and here she is blurting it out. And, uh, well, anyway, it went on. But it, uh, to me, that, that whole interview was just an extraordinary interview when she talked about never basically having the love of her life with her at this particular time in her life. And, um, and she said of all the men that she married, the only person she would have loved to have been married to was Gary Merrill. That was the man that she loved the most. And she said, but it was just such a difficult time to get married to anybody because in the end, even though I tried my hardest, they always called my husband's Mr. Davis. And, uh, and she says, that's the greatest regret that I have in my life, that I was never able to keep the marriage going, any marriage going, and let alone now, she says, if what was go what's going on in this world today I probably uh, would never have married anyone. She says, I would have slept with them, I would have lived with them, but I wouldn't have had to marry them. But in those days, you know, there were all these codes that we had to live by, and so I kept getting married. But it was to Gary Merrill, to, wish, to, which, to whom I would have loved to have stayed married. And I said, what was it about him? Oh, she said, we had so many things in common. We came from the same place. We understood the same things. Um, but when she said it, there was such a, a real sadness that I saw in her eyes. Uh, and I, I don't know, every, every time I see that interview, it's it like I, I, I start tearing up my, myself because for women, it has always been a big sacrifice.